Hitler probably didn't envisage a Volkswagen driver being snowed in at a ski lodge. But the Beatles' cold starting ability made it attractive in the snow, even if the heater was crude and difficult to adjust. The biggest milestone of 1955 came when the one millionth Beetle left the Wolfsburg production line. With this success, Heinz Nordoff established himself as the third major figure in the development of the Volkswagen, after Adolf Hitler and Ferdinand Porsche. Nordhoff shared the credit with the Wolfsburg workforce. Meine Arbeitskameraden, wenn wir von Zeit zu Zeit zusammenkommen, zurückschauend Ausblick, so wahrlich nicht, um uns an stolzen Zahlen zu berauschen. Aufstieg und Erfolg verpflichten zu unverändert höchster Leistung. The celebration of the one millionth car was a grand occasion. The car itself was painted in gleaming gold, but that was just the beginning. In keeping with the international success of the Beetle, the ceremony marking the occasion had a strong international flavor. A vast crowd watched a lavish show in which every major customer country was represented. climax was unexpected. Heinz Nordhoff walked into the circular arena to begin a piece of automotive choreography in which the arena itself would become a giant roulette wheel. The colors and the white ball would be represented by Volkswagen Beetles. With the international success of the Beetle, Germany had indeed struck it rich, but there was much more to come. One million was a mere fraction of the number of Beatles that would eventually be produced. Volkswagen had been a linchpin of Germany's post-war economic miracle. Since 1949, the Volkswagen's factory at Wolfsburg had provided an ongoing injection of employment, wages, and potential for export dollars. As the biggest single entity in the German economy, its effect on the country's economic health was profound. Workers found that they could once again buy consumer goods. Even those who couldn't yet afford a beetle of their own could pay for a motorbike. The growth of Wolfsburg reflected a growth of new towns across Germany. A new plant was built at Hanover to manufacture VW engines. Other plants within Germany were on the drawing board. And in the meantime, Wolfsburg was expanding to become the biggest automobile factory under one roof anywhere in the world. Young couples who had faced a bleak future in the wreckage of post-war Germany now found themselves with access to new cars, new furniture, and new houses. It was extraordinary that this surge of prosperity could be brought about by a strange little car with a design almost a quarter of a century old was even more extraordinary that many graduates of this new school would go to work at the factory that employed their parents, building Volkswagen Beetles for years to come. Yeah. 
There was an exception to Heinz Nordhoff's one model policy. The transporter was based on the Beetle. It shared the Beetle's engine and transmission. It was introduced in 1950, but by 1956, its manufacture was moved to the new plant at Hanover. Like the Beetle, the transporter and its many variants were unusual vehicles that found a strong market niche. They were tough and simple and gained ready acceptance in many remote and difficult export markets. They became an icon of the love generation and the utility transportation of choice for the earthly and the spiritual alike. The Beetle message was spreading across the world. In 1953, a manufacturing subsidiary was established in Brazil. Australia also accepted the Beetle with affection. In 1957, Volkswagen competed successfully against a variety of world cars in Australia's Mobile Gas Rally, a grueling event that took its competitors all the way around the island continent over some of the roughest and most difficult roads in the world. The Beetle made a strong impact in Australia, and in the year of this rally, Volkswagen's second international subsidiary was set up there to manufacture the Beetle down under. In the 60s, a third foreign manufacturing subsidiary was established this time in Mexico, and the Volkswagen Beetle became a genuinely international car. <laughs> Only two changes were made to the Beetle in the 50s and early 60s. Front and rear windows were enlarged, and the engine was redesigned for the first time. In 1956, VW introduced the Carman Gear Coupe. Referred to by some as the world's slowest sports car, it offered sports car appearance with Beetle simplicity. In 1961, Volkswagen introduced the 1500, their first new model with the apparent potential to replace the Beetle. It looked more up-to-date, was more powerful, but had nothing like the Beetle's appeal. By the 60s, the Beetle was a cult car. In 1965, a million were sold. As well as some outlandish Beetle-based behavior, the 60s saw two increases in engine size and continued success. This smooth ride comparison shows how far suspension changes to the Beetle had developed over three decades. And the Beetle's evolution continued into the 70s. In 1968, Heinz Nordhoff, the architect of Volkswagen's success, died. Nordhoff was replaced by Dr. Kurt Lotz, who inherited the tough job of finding a successor for the aging Beetle. The Type 4, successor to the 1500, was not to be the answer. It just never had the Beetle's appeal. Volkswagen now owned a majority share of Audi and NSU. And in 1970, Volkswagen launched an NSU design as the VW K70. It too was a disappointment. In 1971, Rudolf Leiding took over from Kurt Lotz. Beetle development was continuing, and so was the search for a replacement. 
In 1973 came the Audi-influenced Passat. In 1974, the year of the Arab-Israeli war and rocketing oil prices, Volkswagen made its first ever loss. The Passat was no VW savior. All hopes that year were pinned on an entirely new design which had nothing in common with the Volkswagen tradition. The new car was released in Europe as the Golf. It was a front-wheel drive hatchback with a lot of catching up to do. In October 1974, Beetle sales topped 18 million, making it clearly the biggest selling car in history. The previous bestseller had been the Ford Model T. Ford's original sales figure for the Model T was just over 15 million in 1927. When the Beetle passed this in 1972, Ford discovered that more than 16 and a half million Model Ts had actually been built. But by the end of 1974, there was no more argument. The Beetle was the most popular car of the century. The new Golf range included two and four-door bodies, a choice of engine sizes, and a sporting model with a completely different body, the Scirocco. The Golf proved to be the right car at the right time. The Beetle had taken more than five years to sell a million. The Golf did it in a mere 31 months. It seemed that Volkswagen had at last found a worthy successor to the Beetle. Beetle production was phased down in the 70s. And on January the 19th, 1978, the last Beetle produced in Germany left the Emden factory. To Volkswagen, it was the champion of the world, the largest selling car in history. But all champions must eventually retire. There was another sporting analogy. The Beatles' race had been run, and the baton must be handed over. It would be carried forward by the Golf. The Golf appeared to be a worthy successor. By late 1979, sales had reached 3 million, and the 5 million mark was reached eight years after the car's release. Golf wurde nach 31 Monaten dem Vorstand übergeben von euch fertiggestellt. Der 5 Millionen The Golf's success did not quite signal the end for the Beetle. The Golf continued to pour out of the ultra high-tech Volkswagen factories at Wolfsburg and Emden, and in the USA where it had been introduced as the Rabbit, it was produced in Volkswagen's Pennsylvania factory. But as the golf sales mounted around the world, across the Atlantic, in Mexico and Brazil, the Beetle continued to roll off Volkswagen production lines. With half a century of development, and in its time, more sales than any other car in the world. The Volkswagen Beetle is unique in the history of the automobile. More cars follow tonight in the roadshow, including the classic Morgan three-wheeler on test against several modern rivals.